Welcome to uh, Biblical Hebrew. We're going to be going through uh, Lesson 5 Workbook Homework today on the definite article and the conjunction verb. And um, again, as we said before, the grammar book gives you the under gives you the knowledge. The workbook gives you the understanding. And so um, we want to go ahead and go through the homework here because the main thing I'm concentrating on is that you understand the principles, understand what to look for, um, and how to pronunciate it. And then now we're working on translation. Okay? All right. So what the, the exercise here says, they want us to, to prefix the definite article to each of the following nouns and then translate the form. So what we're going to do here is we first one we have is man, a man. It doesn't have a definite article, so what we want to do is put a definite article on it. We want to add the the hey and the what would normally be a potok, but since there's the olive rejects the doubling, it lengthens that potok to a comments, and we translate it the man, the man. Um, and then we go to the second, which is Melek, a king, and we will make it the king. We put a He, Patak, and the doubling of the first letter um, in the word, Melek, Ham Melek, Ham Melek, the king. Number three, we have Isha, a woman, and then we add a definite article, Haisha. And again, it, it the instead of the potok, it it lengthens to a comment. So that's called virtual doubling. I mean, called compensatory lengthening, because the degesh, uh, the aleph rejects the degesh here. It becomes, um, it lengthens the potok to a comment. Number four is buy it, a house. And we add the definite article of the hay and the pot type plus the doubling of the bait. Remember that that uh, lane A that was in here drops out and becomes a doubling the gash here. Habite, habite. We have safer for book. Add doubling. We add a hay pot type and a um, doubling the gash to the stomach. It becomes the book. Ha safer. Uh, safer doesn't change the accent. The accent remains on the first syllable after the of the, uh, the first syllable of the noun here. We have Derek a road. We have hi Derek the road. Um, hey Patak and the doubling of the first letter of the dalit. Naar young man. You won't say the young man. You say ha Naar. Doesn't change anything. So the hay, the potok, and the double of the noon. Now we get the cherv, which is a sword. And because cherv begins with a chet, it is a guttural. It does reject the doubling. So we have our first case of virtual doubling here. We have the hay, the potok. A chet rejects the doubling, so the potok remains the same. It doesn't lengthen as in compensatory lengthening and so it yeah uh, this is ha cherv ha cherv the sword you have hey call which is a temple you add the hey the potok and the hey and hey call rejects the doubling it does nothing to the vowel of the potok so here's another example of virtual doubling it's ha hey call So they give you a bunch of examples here, and you get you get your hands, and you get your feet wet on learning to put the definite article on. Remember those rules. You have kohen, a priest. You have hakohen, hakohen, the priest. You have chokma. I mean, you have choma, choma, a wall. You have hachoma. Ha choma, the wall. Again, you have virtual doubling. You have the hay plus the pontac, 
the rejection of the Gesch Forte, so the Patak remains the same. You have Miragalim, Spice. You have Ham Miragalim. You remember the rule? It says if you um, take a definite article and attach it to a noun that begins with a M or a, a Mim or a Yod and it has a, a simple Shiva or vocal Shiva upon it, the Dagesh Forte drops out. So it's a He plus Patak and, and you you pronunciate this uh, this Shiva here. Ha me rag galim. Ha me rag galim. Here, these spies. We have Yeladim, which is a masculine, again, a masculine plural for boys right here. Here, the Hirik Yod, Mimsufit, is the masculine plural. You have what they have here is Ha Yeladim. Ha Yeladim. Or the boys. The Dagesh Forte drops out of the Yod. Okay, we have uh, Avanim for stones. Avanim. We have the Ha Avanim. Remember the Dagesh. Uh, the Aleph rejects the Dagesh. Thus the Patak lengthens to a comet. That's called compensatory lengthening. We have Afar for dust. Again, this is remember this is the ion with the comets up under it. The accent is on the last syllable here. So instead of having a pontoc or a comets, it's going to have a cigar. He afar. He afar. We have number 16, ear for a city. We want to put the definite article into it, it is ha ear. Hey with the comments. Normally the hey patak and then the doubling of the first root, but the I N rejects the doubling of the Dagesh Forte and lengthens the patak to a comments. So it's the city. We have Irene for cities. It is he Irene. Again we got the the Iron with the comets. So uh, it takes a Seagull instead of a comets. We have Roche for a head. We have Ha Roche. And again, it's called compensatory lengthening. The Resh rejects the doubling. We have Shana for year. We have Hashana or the year. We have Torah or a long. We have Hat Torah. Hat Torah. The long. Uh, just the standard form of attaching a um, definite article. Here you have the hay. Patak and the doubling of the first constant of the of the letter um, of the word that's attached to. All right, let's go ahead and get, let's visit the conjunctions here now. All right, they want us to go ahead and add the prefix prefix the conjunction to the following forms and then translate. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to show fate. Can we say show fate? We're going to add a conjunction to it, so we're going to say ve chauffet, ve chauffet, uh, and we translate it and a judge. There's no definite article here, so it's going to be indefinite. So we translate it indefinite. Now we have hash chauffet, hash chauffet, the judge. We write it out this way ve. Ha Shofet. We add a conjunction to it. Ve Ha Shofet. And the judge. We would translate. Number three. We go through Brit for covenant. <clears throat> and of course, Brit starts with a bait. 
And it's a big about letter. This is a doggish lady in here. So when we add a conjunction to it, because of the bump rule, remember the bait, the mem, and the pay, it takes a shurik. So it's uverit. Uverit. The doggish lady drops out, and the shurik is attached to it. Uverit. And we have translated and a covenant. Number four, we have Adam for Eden. And we would go ahead and add a conjunction here. Ve Adam. Remember, it takes the opposite short vowel. This is a hates sagol. The sagol comes over under the uh, vav, the, con the conjunction. It's Ve Adam. And Eden. And Edom. Number five is Mishpat, a judgment. And we add a conjunction here. Again, the mem is a part of the bump rule. It's U Mishpat, U Mishpat, and a judgment. Number six is Bain, a son. And it's a bump rule. Again, the big fat letter. I mean, the um, it's a big fat letter, so the lane will drop out. It's Uvain, Uvain, and a son. Ha a ha the trees. We would add a conjunction to it. It's ve ha a seem, ve ha a seem, and the trees. Is how we would translate that. We have hamor, which is a donkey, and we want to add a conjunction to it. We again, we have a hatef pontak, so under scuttle, so it's going to take the the pontak, the short vowel, up under the up under the conjunction, vachamor, vachamor, and a donkey. All right, let's move this up a little bit here. Number nine, we have Elohim, but we want to add. Remember something? There's an exception to this rule when we have Instead of taking the um, the Hatea Segal and taking the uh, Segal and placing it upon the Vav, it actually lengthens to a Sere. So instead of saying Ve Elohim, it's Ve Lohim. Ve Lohim. And that's one of the only exceptions to that. Okay, number 10, we have Tefillah. Tefillah for prayer. We add a conjunction to it. It is because the Shiva, remember the Shiva is up under the first consonant, the first syllable. Whenever you have a, a vocal Shiva up under the first consonant of a word and you attack, attach a um, conjunction to it, it's going to turn into it, be a shurik. It says, Utefilah. Utefilah. And a prayer is how we would translate it. Now, now bait, or bite, we translate this as bite, pronounce it as bite. It's a big fat letter, and it's part of the bump rule, so the lane drops out. It's uvite, uvite. And we translate it as, and a house. Number 12, let's go down to number 12 here. We have Hashemaim. We don't say Hashemaim. It's actually Hashemaim. I'll put a conjunction onto it. It's Behashemaim. Behashemaim. Nothing really happens. It's just standard conjunction here. 13 is Ha-Adam. Same thing, just a standard um Vav here, conjunction. Vav with the Shiva. Ve'ha Adam. And we would translate, and the man. Number 14 is Melech, which is a king. But if we want to add a conjunction to it and then say, and a king, we would say, U Melech. Remember, Melech starts with a mim. And it's one of the part of the bump rule. So it's Umelik. We have Malka. 
for a queen. Again, we have a mem, hence the bump rule. Umalka. Umalka. And a queen. Number 16 we have is peri for fruit. We add a conjunction is because it's part of the bump rule, the bait, the mem of the pay. It's u feri. Remember that lane drops out, so it's u, it's a ph sound. U feri and fruit. And next one we want to go to is we want to go to the uh, Hanavi, the prophet, Hanavi, and add a conjunction to it. It's just Ve Hanavi, Ve Hanavi, the prophet and the prophet. We have Yehuda on number 18 for Judah, and this is one of the exceptions to the rule here. Um, basically, uh, when you add a conjunction to this, it contracts and lengthens. So instead of um, it, it winds up becoming vihuda, vihuda in there. So um, instead of being shurik, it winds up uh, instead of being u yahuda, it winds up being vihuda. Behuda and Judah is how we translate it. Number 19, it's Bain, between. And if we want to, because it's a bump rule, again, that lane A drops out, and the Shurik is the conjunction, and it's Uvain. Uvain, and between. Next, on number 20, we have Chalom, which is a dream, and since it is, it has a chatev patak, we add a conjunction on here. It takes the short valve of the chatev patak, it takes the patak, and brings it up under for the conjunction. So it's vachalom, vachalom. And we would translate it as and a dream. All right, okay, we finished out with those. Let's go ahead and get into some Bible translation here. All right, all right, what we want to do, we want to read from right to left, since Hebrew reads from right to left. We go, Ha Shemaim Beha'aretz, the accents on the first syllable here, and we would translate that as the heavens and the earth. Number two, we would pronounce ve hasom, ve habakar, and we would translate that as and the sheep and the cattle, and the sheep and the cattle. Number three, we go he anan ve. Hachoshek, it would say the cloud and the darkness. Remember, the he here is with the Segol because the Anan begins with an ayin and a comets and it's unaccented syllable. The accent's actually on the, the noon here. Okay, the cloud and the darkness. Number four, we have ve ha kohanim ve ha'am. We have ve ha kohanim ve ha'am. And so we have, and we translate it, and the priest and the people. Number five, ve ha Torah. Vehama mitzvah. Veha Torah. Veham mitzvah. And we would we would translate that as and the law and the prophets. 
number six. Again, attaching the conjunction to a hey, it's going to remain the regular. Ve hachohanim ve hanevi'im. The priest and the prophets. And the priest and the prophets. Okay. Number seven is ve han navi ve ha kohen ve ha'am. And so we would translate that as and the prophet and the priest and the people. Number eight is ve ha or ve ha yareach ve ha ko chavim. And that would be and the light, which is and the light and the moon and the stars. Let's go to number nine here. Number nine is Hamelik ve Hamalka, the king and the queen. All right, so that uh, pretty much takes care of the homework for lesson five, dealing with definite articles and conjunctions. So go back and review uh, the lesson and the parts of it uh, and uh, review the homework. And uh, do sign up for our breakout sessions that we have each week to help answer any questions um, on any of the chapters that you've been through so far. And uh, be sure to go to our website at www.tobysplace.org and go to the online classes page and click the link to sign up for the outbreak session for that particular week. Okay? Uh, we'll have multiple days and times in which we'll offer to all of our students. Until next time, we'll see you later. Alright, Shalom.